lot of emphasis put on savings. A lot of emphasis. <laughs> but looking at the numbers, they were projected out over six years, and they didn't go the full 10 years, which is the least of the, the full amount of the lease time for this agreement. So it appears to me like there's a, a very serious discrepancy between the six year and the 10 year period, which we're going to be responsible for. And this goes back to the accounting practices that we're currently using in this county. There are the same accounting practices that are bringing us a $38 million deficit or whatever the deficit number winds up being. Now, we don't need to have that deficit when we've got a budget of over $200 million here. We can work on other ways to accomplish that. Now, one of the ways that we could do that is by working with the other counties across this country who are working through this re recession successfully. They have been able to do a balanced budget by simply cutting back. I see no cutting back in this uh, board. I see no willingness, willingness to cut back. I see a willingness to spend. And I see a, a willingness to accept the, um, uh, the recommendations that come from the finance board without very much in the way of oversight. So, to that end, since the board has been considering getting rid of the Board of Ed Educators uh, uh, Oversight Committee, I think the time has now come <coughs> for the citizens of this great county to reinstitute an age-old practice called citizen grand juries for the purpose of oversight <coughs> the public officials here in this county. And I am calling for that. We can do it regardless of whether or not it's uh, handled by the county, but I'm requesting that the facilities be made available. A retired judge be made available <coughs> so that the citizens of this great county can look out for the best interest of this county. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, I am a person of no consequence to you. Your decision to raise the taxes on property owners in Clayton County will add an increased burden not only upon property owners, but also on those who have to pay rent. Most certainly property owners, landlords, will pass those additional costs onto those who can afford it least. They're renters. But that shouldn't worry or concern you, because you can pass the blame off of this greedy and unscrupulous landlord and property owner. May I suggest that the Clayton County Board of Commissioners lead by example to this end in order to demonstrate your willingness to be the first to sacrifice and that you have done everything that you can to operate within current budgets. May I suggest one that each of you voluntarily reduces your salaries and your benefits and eliminates all travel expenses outside of Clayton County. Two, under no circumstances should the membership a member of the Clayton County Board of Commissioners be paid a higher salary than the average wage earner in Clayton County. Three, that all travel expenses outside of Clayton County be paid by the board member, him or her, herself, and not the taxpayers of Clayton County. You know, it constantly amazes me that public servants believe their compensation should be greater than the average taxpayer who employs them. I look for the day when public servants again serve the public, as did this nation's founding fathers, Amen. without compensation, Amen. but with the satisfaction of having made an honorable contribution to the community. Amen. I started out 
let's say another person of no consequences. And from what I've seen from this board, you look upon all of these people as persons without much consequence. But let me tell you, we are taxpayers. And together we can be people, persons of serious consequence. Thank you very much. And I think the idea of calling for a citizen's grand jury. So you two minutes up. And I'm all the way up. Thank you very much wherever it's coming from. But it's time we supported this citizen's grand jury. I have a question of what happened to $18 million for an airport that was sold, that was underpriced, that was never asked us what we wanted to do with the airport. You know it was underpriced. Why was it sold underpriced? And what has been done with the $18 million that was brought in from that? And I agree that a citizen grand jury needs to be reviewing what it is you've got to do up here. Thank you. I am a resident of Clayton County. I have uh, a couple of concerns. And it has to do with the, um, the county manager. I think it's a slap in the face for you guys to hire somebody who the county rejected in an election. You know, he never should have even been considered. You know, you can at least appreciate what the citizens of this county said before with his uh, position on the board. The other thing I want to talk about is the median income for Clayton County residents <coughs> is 44000 So I don't understand why this person is going to pay three and one half times that amount at 150000 I'm sorry, that just doesn't work for a county that has a deficit. And the other two points I want to make is we have 44000 median income here, and you've got about a $30 million <coughs> deficit. Henry County Median income is about 53000 and they've got a $30 million surplus. So that's about $78 million difference. And I believe you guys are completely mismanaging the funds here. I believe each and every single one of you needs to be recalled. You don't deserve to make it to the next election, and I will do my best to get you recalled. And I do believe we need a citizen grand jury so we don't go through this ever again. Thank you very much for your time. Help the city. That I don't even remember about you and your remember your face. Anyhow, 
without um, what I'd like to say, I here represent the national conservative Republican women. I'm also here with the state party, and I represent the 13th district against David Scott. So Clayton County is my district within the Georgia Republican Party. And what I see here, I am disappointed. So I'm here for the voice of those citizens that cannot be here tonight. I'm here to speak on their behalf of what has happened to their county. Do you know that Clayton County is the worst county in the state of Georgia? That is saddening. That hurts me. People don't want to bring their kids to be educated here. And yet you have the airport. You have so many wonderful things that you could make Clayton County the Taj Mahal of the state of Georgia. But you have failed not only the citizens, but the people that work hard every day to give their money back to you. So, for anyone who's running in this room, I have a proposition. I will fund your campaign. I will give you the money for your sign, for your door hangers. Anything you need, doesn't matter how much will it take, I will pay for it to run somebody against each one of you. And I will go door to door and get work of the people. the implementation of a citizen's grand jury for the purpose of reviewing evidence of public and your correction. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Commissioner and Principal for Clayton County. I want to first thank the Reverend Press on Round of Power. I pay for Clayton County to go to a Chamber of Commerce meeting. A minister who's been up here, I still accuse me of stealing life with him. My daughter, who just got back from Africa, literally wants to get up and choke the life out of this man. And she would help. I had to explain to her why her dad accepted that. She was very angry. Let me just say, I'm going to recall too, but you need to do it separately. The problem is, we don't have experts. 